It's Monday, I'm Andrew Wiebe, and this is the MLS Weekend Rewind. You know the drill, let's dive, or should I say jump, into week 16. And we start with Real Salt Lake Sporting KC, the game of the weekend for a handful of reasons. The pace was high, the action was end to end, and the dislike between these two teams is already palpable. This is quite the far beat, and it's only going to heat up now that they're in the same conference. Exhibit A, remember when Benny Fowlhaber came right out and said he uh, didn't care for RSL back in April? I've never liked Salt Lake, Fowlhaber said. I think they're, yeah, I don't like them. Well, the Claret and Cobalt were clearly listening and they kicked the SKC number 10 right out of the game in the second half before getting a fortuitous winner in stoppage time. But the real highlight, or should I say highlights, came from handsome Luke Mahalan, who cemented his place in blooper reels for all eternity. Remember, always keep your eye on the ball. Wham! That post came out of nowhere to Dikembe Mutombo, the Englishman. All right, now wind it back. And again, how about slow-mo for good measure? And that wasn't the end of it for Mulholland. He also took out the corner flag and face-planted after, well, I don't really know what that was. Rough one for Luke, but at least he has a sense of humor about it. Jim Curtin isn't laughing though after admitting the Galaxy outclassed his Union squad in all ways on Saturday night. The 5-1 scoreline said as much, as did the fact that Robbie Keane didn't even have to score in the route. Jesse Zardes did though, same for Juninho, and Baggio Husidic, and Stefan Ishizaki, and Sebastian Legge. Only Galaxy boss Bruce Arena wasn't all that impressed, saying his side were actually pretty sloppy in this one. You know, we can play better than we did tonight. Considering Steven Gerrard is less than a month away from hitting the field, that notion from a manager in possession of three of the last four MLS Cups ought to be pretty scary for the rest of MLS. The Timbers get a shot at LA midweek on ESPN2, and they'll do so riding the longest MLS winning streak in club history after knocking off Houston 2-0 this weekend. That made it four in a row, and those 12 points have Caleb Porter's side all the way up to third in the Western Conference. If they win both of their matches this week, home gigs versus the Galaxy and the Clint dempsey list Sounders, and Seattle fail to win in Philly, Portland will jump their Cascadia rivals in the standings. Kind of crazy, huh? This from a team that was dead last in the West as recently as April 13th, and second to last just one month ago. MLS, where fortunes rise and fall like the Dow Jones. Speaking of stocks on the way up, New York City FC are pretty, pretty bullish right now as they cruise into the summer transfer window. That means two new Spanish defenders, Frank Lampard and maybe even Andrea Pirlo if you're keeping track at home. On Saturday, David Villa and the boys in blue beat a full strength Toronto FC side into submission, paying what we'll call special attention to Jovinko, something the Reds weren't too happy about as NYCFC nabbed their third straight win. Meanwhile, the Red Bulls stock is tanking on the back of four straight losses. The most recent, a wild 2-1 setback against the Caps saw Bradley Wright Phillips miss two PKs, the first player to accomplish that feat in MLS, and Sasha Kleshin sent off for some, uh, let's say, off-the-ball incidents with Kendall Waston. Oh yeah, these two meet next Sunday at Yankee Stadium for Big Apple bragging rights. A win for NYCFC would shift the tone of the burgeoning rivalry big time and put some transfer window pressure on the Red Bulls in the process. On that note, we shift our focus and look ahead to what promises to be one hell of a week. Rivalry week, that is. If 16 games over the next seven days didn't already get your blood boiling, check out the five rivalry matchups on tap, starting Wednesday with the 401 Derby between Toronto and Montreal. I'll be making the subway journey from Brooklyn to the Bronx next Sunday for the New York City Derby that shall not be named. Let me know how you're planning on catching the action this week in the comments section below. Same time, same place next week. Enjoy week 17, everybody.